Patanjali Tamar Pras Pro Wrestling League Season 3 के आज का ये बाउट है महिलाओं के 50 यानी 50 किलोग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती का हरियाणा हैवर्स की ओर से आ रही है चाइना मूल की सुन या नान Patanjali Chaman Pras Pro Wrestling League Season 3 Aaj ke in mahilao ke 50 kilogram of varg kushti mukhaple mein UP Dangal ki or se a rahi hai Bharati Mool ke Vinesh Bhoga Probably one of the most anticipated bouts of PWL Season 3. Sonia Nan of the Haryana Hammers in the women's 50 kg. The 25-year-old Chinese grappler who was the bronze medalist at the Rio Olympics 2016. Goes up against India's Vinesh Fogat, who's also the icon player for UP Tanga. The 23-year-old was up against Sonia Nan at the Rio Olympics in the quarterfinals where she lost a heartbreaking and a knee-injuring loss. It was for Vinesh Fogart and she has vowed to come back strong. She has come back stronger, but I'm sure this is uh, the contest that she's been looking forward to. Satyadev Malik is going to be the referee for this all-important contest. At stake is personal pride and, of course, the outcome of the tie tonight. If Vinesh Fogart were to win this, then UP Dangal take an unassailable 4-2 lead in the contest. But Sunya Nan has other plans, I'm sure. You're dead right, Raman. And there they go, all out into attack. And this is Vinish Fogart at her very best. She hasn't conceded a point in the tournament so far in the Professional Wrestling League Season 3. Here she's picked up two points. I mean, it's a blitzkrieg by Vinish. You know, right from the beginning, she's been saying for two years, she's been waiting for this bout. That knee injury in Rio Olympics really hurt her. And she's 2-0 up over here. I think this is going to be a classic bout, just like Hetik and Begzot in the men's title. Well, remember, Sunya Nan is the designated captain for the Haryana Hammers today in the absence of Helen Merulis, who's unwell. But straight away, a quick takedown by Vinish. Didn't let her uh, opponent settle. Gita Fogart looking on. Now, <laughs> the uh, elder cousin isn't competing today. Her weight category has been blocked, the women 62. Yes, but Vinish is, you could see that mean and determined look on her face. Sunya Nan has a fight on her hands. And you know, Raman, interestingly, if uh, Vinish does manage to pull it off, UP Dangal enter the final and our Mayo College friends, uh, semi-final, yeah, as the top team. And well, it's still a long way to go. They'll enter the semi-final as the top team. And here again, very fine push out Vinish in full control and you know our Mayo College friends will have chosen the their one point is that a point yes of course a point for a push out absolutely that's what Vinish Fogart has managed look at her using the upper body strength just pushing her up and out she converted a defensive maneuver into a point excellent what I was saying the Himanshu and gang have chosen the women very well Vanessa Zanit and Vinish Fogart will uh, take them through. I mean, they're absolutely the three women have done UP Dangal proud. Well, at present at least, but she can come back. Well, yes, UP Dangal, remember, the uh, Katyals have done very well. Whether it's Honey or Sunny Katyal, the owners. Their uh, set of grapplers, well, as well, Sunyanan in the fray, uh, Helen Marulis. But UP Dangal, different cup of tea. They'll, of course, with this win, top the table. Rana Hammers will play NCR Punjab Royals in that case in the other semi final. But 3 to nothing for the moment for Vinesh Fogart up against Sunya Nan with about 45 seconds to go in round one. Ajran Punya looking on. Everyone in that UP Dangal camp knows 
the mindset of Vinesh Fogart and what she's gone through, the trauma that she went through, the injury that she sustained when she fought against Sunya Nan in Rio almost a year and a half ago. It was heartbreak for her, heartbreak for a nation, not just Vinesh Fogart because she was supposed to be a medal prospect. But yeah, Sunya Nan, two points for a takedown and now runs the risk, does Vinesh Fogart, of losing this by fall. Somehow averting that by flipping over now two more for the flip over for Sunyanan. one mistake by Vinesh Fogart and it's cost her four points it certainly has and because she's shorter in height this is always a weakness in Vinesh Fogart even uh, some of the member referees are not directly involved in the contest looking on very expectantly this is a big matchup remember Vinesh Fogart up against Sunyanan, the Chinese girl who beat her in the Rio Olympics and ended uh, a medal hope for India, but for the moment, Vinesh Fogart. Is that going to be a rollover for two and a push out as well? So we'll just get a quick confirmation of scores there. I think there's just a point, a couple of points given for a rollover, but has a point been given for a push out? For the moment, that hasn't been officially given. It's just two for the for the takedown. But then there was a push out as well. So ideally, Dorad. We'll have to wait and see what's the final official score that will come in from the jury. Four points to blue because look at that. It was a takedown from a standing position. So it should be four points and that's exactly what's been given to the blue corner. Yes, she was going for the pin, uh, Vinish Fogart. And that's what the score reads now. It's 8-6 in favor of Vinish and you know it's the first point Vinish has conceded in this pro wrestling league season three previously she'd won all of them comfortably but here she's forged ahead but let's see what the jury decide it's gone to the jury there's the situation Roman now this is the key scenario from a standing position this is the takedown by Vinish so a roll over there will result in four but then there are two points given to Sunyanan as well for that particular maneuver in terms of look at what's transpired there what the jury's got to decide is which grappler was in control and who's got to be given the points so that's the reason why the original result was four to Vinesh two for the takedown to Sunyanan as well that's why the score is reading eight six at the moment yes but it's up to the jury Gita looking on anxious look on her face the elder sister uh, what has the jury given that's to be it could decide the fate of this tie not only this bout this great indo-chinese rivalry in wrestling uh, we've not really had great rivalry with china and wrestling and the men's level here it is with vinish and sunyanan after that injury in rio and in fact uh, we'll just have a quick uh, reversal on the score here and that's the reason why there's some discontent in the camp as far as Ariana Hammers are concerned because it's just the solitary point that's been given not two points so the score is 8-4 in favor of the red corner scenario here. the interesting scenario 8-4 in favor of Ariana Hammers So Vinish going all out in attack now. She, it's now or never for Vinish. She's got to get the better of Sunyanan. Uh, time ticking away. We are approaching the halfway stage. Well, past the halfway stage. There she goes for a pushover. But Sunyanan's defense is quite impeccable over here. Now again in a very advantageous position, Vinish. Can she get her? Can she twist her over? Trapping her with the legs? No. On the contrary, I get a feeling here. Sunyanan's held out well, but she's now got hold of that uh, leg as well, somehow breaking the hold. Two points for a takedown to Sunyanan because she had Vinesh on the side on the mat. So she's the one who gets two points on that occasion. It's a five point differential, a minute and 40 seconds, and thereabouts remain. So, Haryana Hammers, if they win this, if Sunya Nan can get it, it will be three all, everything to play for. But this is a classic encounter, all out action. Vinish in an excellent position, has she gone for a pin? 
what's happened there is there should be four points given to Vinesh Fogart for a takedown from standing position. But two points given to Sunyanan as well. But we'll take a look at the scoring on that. Take a look at Satyadev Malik. First and foremost, evasive, evasive action for the referee. And post the takedown. Well, 14 to Sunyanan. So the panel has deemed that Sunyanan was the grappler in control and gave her four points for the takedown from a standing position. Uh, yes, Raman, and as far as the points difference con is goes, I mean, uh, initially it has to be a miracle in the last minute to come from an eight points deficit. Uh, Sunyanan justifying yeah, Satyadev. <laughs> Satyadev Malik himself nearly got it well. Vinish going all out in attack. Sunyanan countering very well. Sunyanan getting a leg hold. A point. Yes, yeah, she's managed a push out there, has Sunyanan getting Vinish Fogart out of the Moving competitive up. area into the protection zone. The question was, was she still in control when the push out happened? According to the referee, yes, she did have control and contact and hold on that right leg. So she gets one point for that pushover. That makes it 15-6 with 30 seconds to go. And it's almost, well, one more point to Vinish. But, uh, Raman, it's all over by the shouting now. I think the Chinese girl, despite Vinish's aggression, Vinish in trouble over here. Excellent. She's just got the stronger of the two in terms of the hold. She's got the stronger hold of the two. But can't really control and convert it into a big point. 15-7, 15 seconds to go. Sunyanan. It does uh, seem we'll have bragging rights as far as this contest is concerned, like she did in Rio. Yes, well, there, there was the knee injury. Here, there's no injury except in the point scoring. And that's it. It's all over. It's 3-all in the team score. Haryana Hamas making it 3-all, a comfortable points win. The first defeat for Vinish in Pro Wrestling Season 3. And Sunyanan. Excellent technique again and the sheer jubilation. Haryana Hamas probably not expecting this result.